So I ended up putting this onto a smaller sheet of metal because the other sheet was uh, too small for the double image to fit on there. So with the blue press and peel, all you have to do is press and Hail Mary, peel it off. So I can see that there is some areas where the resist did not take. Um, I can probably fix those areas up. So there's a little tiny spot there, there's another spot there, and then there's another spot up there. So even with the blue press and peel, it um, it's still not 100% every time, but um, we'll etch this and see how it turns out. I think for what I'm going to be doing, it's going to be good enough. And um, because this tuck tape sticks so well, I'm going to do another piece with uh, using that as a resist and just using some creative punches and uh, let's see how that works out because that's probably something pretty simple and easy for people to to tackle then without having to deal with these resists. They are a bit frustrating but uh, this one can be fixed up. I already have the other one uh, in the in the uh, not in the bath but in the etching pan already set up but I'll show you how to set um, this one up here uh, for etching. Okay. For an easier project, what I've just done is I've taken a piece of tuck tape and I've wedged it in between two pieces of parchment and created this little uh, snowflake stamp out. Here's the the other piece of the snowflake, that's a discard, and then what we're after is this piece alone here. And because it's parchment, it shouldn't stick too badly. Probably the only thing that tuck tape won't stick to, which is amazing, because this stuff absolutely sticks to anything. And then we take our piece of silver, and we line up where boats we want to have it. And applying this is actually the, the hardest part. So I'm going to make it a little bit higher and then you just lay it down very, very carefully. Okay. And you have an automatic resist with the with the tuck tape. And it the tuck tape will last forever. You can probably have this in the etching bath for um days, <laughs> a bit of an exaggeration, but a long time, and it's not going to break down. And then you just want to make sure that your uh, tape is pressed down firmly all around your piece. And the next thing we're going to be doing is uh, putting our electrode on. So we have our snowflake design here and what we're going to do is start protecting the back because uh, this backing has already been etched but I'm not using those pieces and it's a shallow enough etch that it's not going to make a big difference and this is really ideal here how this has worked out so I'm going to put the tuck tape down on half of it and there's a bit of tuck tape on the bottom. So those edges will just press right together and create a really, really good seal. And just help them along a bit. And make sure they're nice and tight all the way around the edges. You're just going to press that together. And then we can cut and trim a little bit later. Next, you take another piece of tape. And since we've already got this laid down, and this has been covered with some uh, nail polish resist. We don't have to worry about the um, etching solution getting into contact with this wire. You want to try and protect the, the bottom end of this wire up to this little 
stem part as much as possible and then leave this as exposed bare wire. And flat is best and square wire for the rest of it all the way up to this little zigzag part is the best. And I'm just going to position this so that you can see from this angle here. And like I said, tuck tape sticks to absolutely everything, but uh, it seems to give the parchment a miss, which is awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to put the electrode onto the silver piece, making as good a contact as possible. And then I'm going to butt this edge here facing you is now facing the stem and it's going to create a, a tight fit up against it. So this is what it's going to end up looking like. And then you're going to press that, press that tuck tape around that stem. And then when you lift it up, you can take, there's just this front leading edge of silver exposed. And then you just take this and fold it over nicely. And then you have a package ready for etching. Everything is protected except the area that you want to etch. And then you can take some scissors. Where are my scissors? And then you can trim that package down a bit. We don't need to have that big of a package. And don't use your best scissors for, for working with the tuck tape because it creates a gummy mess on the... Um, on the scissor blades as well and I'm just going to fold this edge over a little bit it's a bit big you don't want to have it so long that it covers the um, the snowflake but you don't want to have it excessively sticking out either okay so that is ready for etching now so I'm going to take this pan here and you can see it fits in the pan perfectly. If, you, if the piece doesn't fit, i.e. this bracelet, then you need to use a bigger pan, okay? Next, we'll cover the suspension of the piece into the pan. And so you just have these chopsticks here or two sticks that are secured together. What you don't want is them loose on the end because basically they're just going to balance on there and they need to hold they need to be tight enough together that they're going to hold this little electrode lead here so you just pry that open with your nail and then start wiggling it through there and hopefully it's going to be wide enough especially when i'm trying to hold it for the camera okay so you can see that it's through the bamboo and then it's going into the pan and it's going to be suspended and see here so if you can get it as close to the bottom as possible that's best and the other thing is because it's been taped on all four sides you won't have the risk of it um, touching the metal the bare metal touching the the metal pan and again you need to have a stainless pan or steel pan or probably stainless pan for for doing this so that hangs in there like that. I'm just going to adjust it so that it's anywhere from between a quarter inch to half an inch above the, the bottom of the pan. Okay, like that. You don't want to have it sticking up like this high. All right, that's, that's too high off the bottom. But let's see here. We'll shoot for... Okay, down it goes. And quarter inch and I know that nothing is touching like no metal is touching the pan in this situation here all right next is setting up the electro etchers and adding the solution